Welcome back to the channel, where we dive deep into the royal family, uncovering the truths behind palace walls. Today, we're exploring one of the most shocking stories yet. Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, is well known for her no-nonsense attitude, strong work ethic, and razor-sharp wit. Throughout her many decades of service to the British royal family, she has become a symbol of resilience, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to duty. However, beyond her devotion to royal duties, what truly sets Princess Anne apart is her quick thinking and brilliant comebacks, which often leave those around her, including her fellow royals, speechless. Her dry sense of humor and ability to deflect awkward moments with would make her one of the most fascinating figures in the royal family. In this exploration, we'll uncover 20 of Princess Anne's most unforgettable moments, where her sharp tongue, clever quips, and strong personality took center stage. These moments not only define her bold character but also reveal her keen intellect and grounded approach to life, leaving an indelible mark on both the royal family and the public. The Olympic Torch Incident one of the most iconic moments in recent royal history took place during the 2012 London Olympics. Princess Anne, a former Olympian herself, was selected to carry the Olympic torch as part of the relay leading up to the Games. The moment was supposed to be filled with pomp and circumstance, an emotional and symbolic occasion. But when asked about the honor, Anne's response was classic, I didn't drop it, did I? Her blunt yet humorous remark not only caught reporters off guard but also highlighted her practical approach to royal duties. For Anne, the task at hand wasn't about grandeur or symbolism, it was about simply doing the job well. This moment encapsulates her attitude toward her royal role, focused on the action, not the ceremony. I was busy. In 2005, the wedding of her brother, Prince Charles, to Camilla Parker Bowles was one of the biggest events of the year. However, Princess Anne was notably absent, sparking curiosity and speculation among the media and the public. When asked why she didn't attend, Anne's response was sharp and to the point, I was busy that day. Her matter-of-fact reply made it clear that her personal schedule took precedence over even the most high-profile royal events. This moment underscored her independent spirit and her dedication to her own responsibilities, showing that she doesn't let public pressure or royal expectations dictate her actions. The insect incident. During a royal engagement, Princess Anne was seen dealing with an annoying insect that was buzzing around her. Instead of getting flustered, Anne, with her characteristic dry humor, remarked, I don't mind the insects, but I wish they'd get to know me better first. Her ability to remain composed and in control even in the smallest of inconveniences, and to turn them into humorous moments, exemplifies her calm demeanor and grounded nature. Unlike other royals who might have brushed the insect away awkwardly, Anne's witty response added levity to the situation, making her all the more relatable. Do you really think I care? Princess Anne has never been one to obsess over fashion, despite the public and media's constant fascination with what the royals wear. In an interview, when asked about her thoughts on fashion, Anne delivered one of her most iconic lines, Do you really think I care? This blunt yet hilarious response perfectly captured her practical mindset. While other members of the royal family are celebrated for their sense of style, Anne is more focused on her work and contributions to public service. Her worth as a royal has always been defined by her actions, not her appearance, and this moment reinforced her commitment to substance over style. A silly question deserves a silly answer. When asked during an interview in the 1980s about her often curt responses to the media, Anne quipped, when someone asks you a silly question, you can only give a silly answer. Her quick-witted remarks summed up her frustration with the often trivial questions posed by journalists, as she has always been someone who values substance. 
Anne's interactions with the press have long been marked by her unwillingness to play into their demands, and this particular response is a perfect example of her sharp, no-nonsense attitude toward frivolous media coverage. Not bloody likely. One of the most famous moments in Princess Anne's public life occurred when she was asked about shaking hands with members of the public, a practice that many modern royals now embrace as a way of connecting with the people. Anne, however, has always maintained a more traditional stance. When asked about her thoughts on the practice, she famously responded, not bloody likely. This blunt remark reflected her belief that the value of the monarchy lies in its duties and responsibilities, not in being approachable like a celebrity. Her refusal to adopt more modern customs highlights her dedication to preserving the more formal aspects of royal life, a sentiment that has defined much of her approach to her role. It's just a title. When Princess Anne was officially given the title of Princess Royal, a prestigious title reserved for the eldest daughter of the monarch, her response was surprisingly humble. Rather than expressing excitement or gratitude, she shrugged off the honor with the remark, it's just a title. It doesn't make me any different. This response perfectly encapsulates her down-to-earth attitude toward royal titles and status. While many might view such a title as a symbol of prestige, Anne has always focused on her work rather than her titles. Her humility in this moment reinforces her belief that actions, not ceremonial labels, are what truly matter. I'd rather be a workhorse than a clothes horse. Princess Anne is known for being one of the hardest working members of the royal family, carrying out hundreds of engagements each year. When asked how she manages to maintain such a grueling schedule, Anne delivered one of her most memorable quotes, I'd rather be a workhorse than a clothes horse. This remark highlights her preference for hard work over the focus on fashion and appearances. Anne's dedication to her duties has always been at the forefront of her royal life, and this comment serves as a reminder that, for her, being a royal is about service, not style. Don't break it. In 2012, Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Tyndall, won a silver medal in equestrian at the London Olympics. When asked what advice Anne had given her daughter before the competition, Zara revealed that her mother's words were simple and to the point don't break it. This practical, no-nonsense advice is quintessential Anne, and it demonstrates her grounded approach to life, even in moments of great achievement. Rather than offering emotional or inspirational guidance, Anne's focus was on the task at hand, reminding Zara to keep things simple and straightforward. You only need to do it once. At the 2018 wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Princess Anne stood out for her relaxed attitude during the ceremony. While the event was filled with grandeur and formalities, Anne was seen chatting with guests, seemingly unfazed by all the pomp. When asked about the wedding later, her response was classic Anne. Well, it was nice, but you only need to do it once. This humorous remark hinted at her belief that while royal weddings are important, they don't need to be overly extravagant. Her practical approach, even in moments of celebration, reveals her focus on the more serious aspects of royal life. Not bloody likely, the kidnapping attempt. One of the most iconic moments in Princess Anne's life occurred in 1974 when an armed man attempted to kidnap her. During the incident, the man demanded that she exit her car, to which she famously replied, not bloody likely. This bold and defiant response in such a dangerous situation stunned everyone, showcasing Anne's strength and composure under pressure. Her quick thinking and refusal to be intimidated solidified her reputation as one of the toughest and most resilient members of the royal family. Why don't we just ask for directions? In another moment that highlights her practicality, Princess Anne's chauffeur once got lost on the way to a royal engagement. While others might have panicked or become frustrated, Anne made a simple yet clever suggestion, why don't we just ask for directions? This response, while humorous, also showed her down-to-earth approach to life.
Anne has never been one to prioritize appearances or protocol over practicality, and this moment perfectly encapsulates her ability to cut through unnecessary formalities to find the most efficient. I'm just ma'am, we'll get there eventually. During a press conference, a reporter mistakenly addressed Princess Anne as Your Highness, instead of the correct title, Your Royal Highness. Rather than becoming offended, Anne corrected him with a sharp yet humorous response, I'm just ma'am, we'll get there eventually. Her ability to handle potentially awkward moments with grace and humor is one of her defining traits. This moment demonstrated her understanding of human error and her ability to connect with people even in formal settings. I don't rebel, I just don't conform where it doesn't make sense. Princess Anne has often been labeled a rebel within the royal family due to her bluntness and refusal to conform to certain traditions. When asked how she felt about this reputation, her response was as sharp as ever. I don't rebel, I just don't conform where it doesn't make sense. This statement perfectly sums up her approach to life. Anne isn't rebellious for the sake of being difficult, she simply does what she believes is logical and practical. If a tradition doesn't serve a purpose, she won't follow it blindly. This remark highlights her strong sense of independence and her commitment to doing what she believes is right. 15. The Balcony Shrug One of Princess Anne's most viral moments occurred during the 2019 Trooping the Color Ceremony. As the royal family gathered on the Buckingham Palace balcony, Queen Elizabeth II was seen gesturing for Anne to come forward and join the rest of the family in a more prominent position. Anne, in true form, responded with a nonchalant shrug, implying that she was fine where she was. This casual reaction quickly became a meme, with many interpreting it as Anne's way of downplaying the ceremonial aspects of royal life. It perfectly captured her relaxed attitude toward royal expectations and her consistent focus on substance over spectacle. I just do what needs to be done. When asked in an interview if she considers herself a feminist, Princess Anne responded in her usual straightforward manner, I just do what needs to be done. This simple yet powerful statement reflects her practical approach to gender equality and her role within the royal family. Rather than engaging in debates over labels, Anne focuses on fulfilling her responsibilities and ensuring that her work makes a positive impact. Her response underscored her belief in action over rhetoric, a theme that runs through much of her life and work. The interview with Parkinson. In an interview with Michael Parkinson, a well-known British talk show host, Princess Anne was asked about the pressures of being a royal. With her typical candor, she replied, it's not as bad as everyone makes out. You just get on with it. Her ability to brush off the perceived difficulties of royal life with such ease revealed her resilience and her pragmatic approach. Rather than indulging in self-pity or dramatizing her role, Anne has always focused on the practical aspects of her duties, reinforcing her no-nonsense attitude toward her position. Dot. Just doing my job. During a royal visit, when someone commended her for her hard work and dedication, Anne brushed off the compliment with her classic understatement, I'm just doing my job. This response is a perfect reflection of her attitude toward her role in the royal family. While others might seek recognition or praise, Anne sees her duties as simply part of the responsibility she was born into. This humility, combined with her relentless work ethic, has endeared her to many who admire her for her commitment to public service without seeking the spotlight. The escape room. In a lighter moment, during a visit to an exhibition, Princess Anne found herself in an escape room as part of the event. While others might have played along with the concept, Anne's practical mindset kicked in. She reportedly turned to the event organizer and asked, why would anyone willingly lock themselves in a room? Her deadpan humor struck a chord with those present, and once again, Anne's ability to cut through the frivolities with a single, well-placed comment highlighted her practicality and wit. I've always been a doer in an interview reflecting on her long career of royal service,
Princess Anne was asked what motivates her to keep up her intense schedule. Her response was simple yet revealing. I've always been a doer. This statement perfectly encapsulates her life philosophy. Anne has always been someone who values action over words, and her tireless dedication to her royal duties is a testament to this. While other members of the royal family may enjoy more glamorous or public-facing roles, Anne's focus has always been on getting the job done, no matter how unglamorous or behind the scenes it may be. Princess Anne's wit, intelligence, and resilience make her one of the most unique and respected figures in the British royal family. These moments showcase not only her sharp sense of humor but also her unwavering commitment to her responsibilities. Through her quick comebacks, no-nonsense attitude, and pragmatic approach to life, Anne has cemented her place as a royal who will always stand out for her dedication to duty above all else. Thank you for joining us as we explored some of Princess Anne's most unforgettable moments. Her wit, resilience, and down-to-earth approach continue to make her one of the most fascinating figures in the royal family. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all things royal and more. Let us know in the comments which of Princess Anne's iconic moments is your favorite, and stay tuned for more captivating content. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.